Hi, boys and girls. This is Mr. Mackin, principal here at Centerville Elementary. And today we're going to talk about a severe weather drill. Now, we've done all kinds of other drills this year, and this is just another one that helps us keep us safe. And this one specifically when we have severe weather, maybe like a tornado. So listen carefully so you know what to do. So our drill will start with an alert coming across our teacher's computers or cell phones. It may sound like beeping, and it tells us what actions we're supposed to take. In this case, we are going to shelter. And that's what we do when maybe there's some bad weather coming our way. During our severe weather drill, we want to show the four R's during the whole drill. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're ready. How do we show that? Well, first of all, our voices are at zero. No talking. The second way we're going to make sure that we're ready is we're going to make sure we leave everything behind. No books, no pencils, no backpacks, because we need all the room we can get. So now that we're ready, now it's time to be really respectful. And that is to listen to your adult directions. They're going to tell you what to do and where to go. All right, now it's time to show right choices. We are going to line you up in a straight line, and then we're going to walk down the hallway carefully and quietly at a voice level of zero. Okay, boys and girls, you've probably seen these maps because they're located right next to the door as you leave your classroom. If you notice at the, this part right here, it's yellow, and that's because that is our severe weather shelter. This is where we're all going to be going. Let's take a little closer look at it right now. So what's so special about this severe weather shelter? Well, it has super thick walls that go all the way around it that will keep us safe during a severe weather situation. Now, take a look at this map. You'll notice that each grade level has a very specific place they're going to be. Kindergarten is going to be in room 147. Our pre-K kids are going to be in this hallway right here. Our second graders are going to be in the music room. First graders in our STEM room. Fourth graders in 150. And our fifth graders in room 149. This additional space in the hallway and right here, that's for any extra adults we have that are working throughout the building but are not part of these different grade levels. All right, so how are we gonna get all these kids and adults into these different spaces? Let's take a look at it right now. To help us fit every single student into these different spaces, we're gonna need to do this in an organized fashion. Let's take a look at the second grade room right here, the music room. You'll notice that we have this line of students that are coming through the door. When you come through the door or in your door, you're gonna to go to the furthest spot away from the door and we'll slowly fill it in as classes come in. This is where we have to be very quiet and very organized so we can get everybody in. Let's take a look. So you'll notice the first person goes far away from the door. Then the next person goes right next to them, but they don't touch them. And this continues until we get all the kids in here. Now, a couple things to notice. They're all standing. We do not need to bend down or kneel during this drill because we're in a shelter. But the other thing you'll notice is they're not touching each other. They're getting very close, but they do not touch each other. And then finally, oh, listen. Yeah, they're not talking. They're quiet during the drill also. So a couple things you can do to be responsible during this part of the drill. Make sure you stand close to your classmates, but don't touch each other. And then finally, listen for further directions because your teachers might have some, or it might be Mr. Mackin saying the drill is done. All right, here's a question for you. Where have you seen this very special door that covers a window? Don't say it out loud. If you said the music room, you're right. During the drill, we are going to have these opened. And the reason we do is behind here, there's a very special window that has a covering on it that lets just the right amount of air in. So when our second graders come into the music room, you'll see that this door is open. And just remember, it's supposed to. Now, I'm going to have you take a look at the map again and see if you can figure out where the other two windows are. They have the special green box by them. Okay, take a look at our safety shelter here. Can you find those special windows? Oh, yep, yeah. there's one right in the music room and one in the science room. And then there's one way over here by the boys and girls bathroom by the playground in this fourth grade classroom. Now, remember Mr. Mackin said we had to be very quiet during the drill, like no talking. Well, here's why. 
during the drill, we've got to do the following. We've got to make sure that all the doors that connect these rooms where these stars are, are left open. And so all these doors have to be open. Now remember, we're gonna have hundreds of kids in each of these classrooms. So we need to be quiet so that we can hear when those announcements come. Why do we have these doors open? So it allows that nice little bit of air to go through our building. One other thing you're going to notice during this drill is that our windows are not going to be open like this, but they're going to have a covering that's going to roll down in front of them. So sometimes when it first comes down, it makes a lot of noise. So just be aware that it's supposed to take place. That way our storm shelter is ready to go. So in review, you're going to come into those classrooms and stand as close to your classmates as possible, but don't touch each other. Notice that no one's touching each other. And then finally, voice level zero so we can listen to directions. No talking. So during the whole drill, we're going to make sure that we're at a voice level zero. No talking. Mr. Mackin will make an announcement when it's all done. And then I'm going to ask that you keep a voice level zero until you get back to your classroom. Because we're gonna have over 600 kids and adults in our severe weather shelter, I need you to control your body as you return to class. That means you're walking, you're keeping your hands to yourself, and you're being patient as you let every kid leave the shelter. So thank you very much for listening to our severe weather drill instructions. Just make sure to show the four R's and it'll go great. Go Cougars!